this particular platform is, is very timely because now we are facing the changes in the ASEAN economic community come 2015, which entails both security implications as well as economic implications. So we found the exchange of ideas and also the exchange of best practices between member countries will be a catalyst in this particular project because we find that certain countries are more advanced, certain countries are less advanced. So we are trying to find a balance so that the uh, improvement in their uh, networks and also their uh, databases will run parallel and also be able to handle the situation in the immediate future. I'm actually very thankful to the Interpol team because I've got uh, personal connections with the Interpol team, not because of any other reason, but because they bring in very professional, very systematic ways of managing, managing events like this. And also they are also very hands-on and also able to assist, especially countries developing given their tools and services and also given the resources with them. So we find that Interpol is now really assisting, especially this region, to develop faster. We have always, uh, ASEAN, in particular ASEAN Nepal, has always looked upon Interpol as a major partner. And we have also partnered with uh, Europol. And now we have EU, the overarching body, coming in with the funding. So I see this as an enhancement, not only a police-to-police -police cooperation. Now we are getting funding from the bigger organization to see the bigger picture for the long-term future.